But if you have a lot of assets, it's really good to organize them so you can find them more easily. So to see how this works, start After Effects. And once After Effects opens, open up a project. Go to File, Open Project. Navigate to your Materials folder. Open up the After Effects Projects folder. And then double click on Organizing Assets. Now I purposely made this project panel pretty disorganized. All sorts of assets here kind of spread out all over the place. Very dis two women in background layers. This Photoshop file, so I'll close that down too. You'll notice that there are two Solids folders. Normally when you add a solid layer to a comp, it goes into the same solids folder, but sometimes two folders or more are created. So I'll close those down for the time being. The way you organize a project is by creating folders. And I think you should create folders for your comps, for your assets, and for your solids. Now the solids folder is made automatically, but you do want to consolidate your solids if you have more than one solids folder. So the best way to do that is to put everything in groups. And you can do that by clicking on this type header here. That puts all things of the same type in the same place. So I'm going to scroll up a bit here to see everything. We have all these compositions, all these comps here. I want to put them in a single folder. So I'm going to make a new folder by clicking down here in this new folder icon. And when you see text like this where the background is blue and the text is white, that means if you start typing, it'll replace that. So I'm going to type in comps and then click away and that'll accept that. It puts the comps folder up here. Now I want to select all the comps. So I click on the top one there. You can spot the comps based upon this icon here. It's the comps icon. I'll shift click on this last one so I've got all those comps selected. I'm going to drag them into the comps folder. You'll see the comps folder kind of highlight when I do that. Let go. And all those guys now are inside the comps folder. It opens up automatically, so I'll close it. That simplifies things a bit. I want to create another folder for assets now. So I click on the folder again. Type in assets. Now I want to put all the assets in there with the exception of one. I want to put all the image or video related assets inside there. And music is kind of an outlier. So I'll click on this first one here and then shift click down here in the stained glass and we'll leave music alone for the time being. I'll drag them into the assets folder like so. Now if I open that up, you'll see all the assets there. I'm going to leave music alone because it is kind of this outlier. So it's no big deal. We do have these Photoshop layers inside this folder and we have the Illustrator files over here. You start seeing everything that's named WOM. Very easy way to find your assets that way. If I click on the X, we go back to the regular view. All right, that wraps up this module. Here's a quick recap of what we covered. First of all, I explained how you set up a new project. And projects are essentially empty containers in which you put assets and compositions or comps. I explained how you import assets. Assets are video files, audio, still images, and graphics. And as a point of clarification, when you import an asset, you're not moving it from some location on your system to some other location. You're merely creating a link from that asset name in the project panel to the asset someplace on your system. No copying or pasting of assets are involved when you import assets into your project. I showed you how to import two files with layers, Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator files. The caveat here is to import them as compositions and retain layer sizes. And finally, I suggested that if you have a project with lots of assets, you organize those assets in the project panel. And I suggested you put them in folders, at the very least folders for comps, for assets, and for solids. import an asset, you're not moving it from some location on your system to some other location. You're merely creating a link location. You're merely creating a link from that asset name in the project panel to the asset someplace on your system. No copying or pasting of assets are involved when you import assets into your project. I showed you how to import two files with layers, Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator files. The caveat here is to import them as compositions and retain layer sizes. And finally, I suggested that if you have a project with lots of assets, you organize those assets in the project panel. And I suggested you put them in folders, at the very least, folders for comps, for assets, and for solids.